Hi everyone! Sometimes I spend quite a while writing these fairly short videos, and sometimes these photos I include span many years. However, I do enjoy just walking out of the house and spending a day somewhere, taking pictures of course, and that single day being the story. I guess I've done a fair bit of that before, but it's something I'd like to do much more of. Today I left the house at midday and got the train into London. I took with me my Fuji X-T3 and unusually for me, I didn't take a prime lens. Instead I thought I'd see how I felt just using the 18 to 55 mm zoom. As much as I often like to be in my own space, there's a part of me that has always loved being right where things are happening, at a big concert or a historic event. Not always the obvious things, but events that mean a lot to me. Well, today in London, it felt like a place that had things going on. I took a walk around Westminster and saw the press and photographers huddled together outside number 10 Downing Street. The Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, had called an emergency cabinet meeting and was due to make a statement there in the afternoon. And outside the cabinet office, there was the seemingly unfading group of anti-Brexit protesters. They shouted and sang and waved their flags. They're an interesting group of people. If you like watching people, there are certainly some people here to watch. However, I was most interested in a protest outside the Home Office, arranged by Roger Waters. He was protesting the planned extradition of Julian Assange to the United States of America. As a photographer, and as that person who likes being around things happening, this was a fascinating place to be. I arrived early and saw the crew setting up the small stage. Press photographers were arriving and chatting about how busy things were outside Downing Street. The skies were grey and the edge seemed to have been taken off summer. As the crowd grew, it became a wonderful place for street photography. There were happy, concerned and angry faces, flags and banners, stickers and leaflets. First, the journalist John Pilger spoke, followed by Julian's brother. Aside from the specifics of the cause, the spectacle itself was so interesting to watch and to be surrounded by. There was an exciting energy at such a brief event taking place on a public street outside the Home Office. Roger Waters spoke passionately. He messed up a joke and then sang Wish You Were Here. He said he often gets asked about the line, did you exchange a walk-on part in the war for a lead role in a cage? He said he didn't always know how to explain that, but that this was him choosing a walk-on part. Something like that, anyway. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in the next one.